right, well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to DuPont Circleville site. And I want to thank you all for coming out here and joining us on this warm October afternoon. Uh, definitely uh, a little bit of a surprise and a little bit of a breeze, as we can see here. So hopefully the sign holds up and we can get through the ceremony without anything blowing over. But uh, I want to introduce myself. My name is Steve Irwin. I'm the Circleville site manager. And again, we're really pleased to see this great crowd and everybody that's come out here. Uh, before I go any further, though, I do want to just say a little bit about the warm weather. We didn't expect this for October and would certainly ask everybody to please be careful. Uh, we do have cold drinks and beverages, so if anybody's feeling the heat working on them, please uh, don't, don't hesitate to get up and take care of your needs or let us know. Um, so moving along with our program, it is with great pride that we're gathered here today to celebrate the groundbreaking uh, for our fourth Capton line, and we refer to that as K4. So uh, DuPont has owned and operated this site since the mid-1950s, and since the mid-1960s, we've made Capton at this site. And our technologies and DuPont's resulting products have, have really been a great value to the electronics industry. And we have a lot of neat, unique properties and products that we, we make. And they have neat properties such as electrical resistance, uh, lightweight, reliability, flexibility, and the ability to withstand harsh conditions. And that's one of the major product lines that we uh, do here at this site. Uh, looking back to over a year ago, uh, when the DuPont E&I business uh, started its visioning work for a, a, another line, uh, we got it together as a site and started working on this, and we also started working with the business and the community. And we reached out at a number of different levels in the community, at the state level, and, and began work on, on what this project could possibly look like. And it's with great happiness that today uh, we're here to kick off and, and actually break ground on, on the site where we ultimately decided to put the investment, which is right here in Circleville. So again, a really positive, happy day here for us here at the site here in DuPont. And again, thank you for all being a part of that. Uh, before I introduce our first speaker, I'd like to acknowledge a few of our DuPont colleagues that have made the trip and have joined us here. Uh, you'll be hearing from John Kemp later, uh, the president of electronics and imaging. Uh, you'll also uh, see in our audience Alexa Dembak, who, who's here, our Chief Operating, uh, excuse me, our Chief Technology and Sustainability Officer. We have Daryl Roberts here, our uh, Chief Operating and Engineering Officer. And then Randy King, our E&I Chief Engineering Science Director. And then John Singer is around here somewhere. John is our Integrated Operations Director. And again, a number of people made the trip here uh, from DuPont Corporate. I want to thank you all for doing that. And again, I didn't cover everybody, but uh, at this point, I would like to introduce uh, our, our global business director, who I haven't introduced yet. His name's Avi Avula, and I'd like to invite Avi to come to the stage. Thank you, Steve. Uh, to start, I would like to take a moment to thank all of you uh, for being here today. Uh, thank you, Steve, for your leadership to help set up this great uh, opportunity for us to have this celebration. Uh, also, several people on your team have worked tirelessly to put this event together, so thank you for that. Uh, thank you also to Bev Knight for doing an outstanding job planning all the behind-the-scenes logistics and everything. So, a uh, big thanks to you to help us uh, set this up. A warm welcome to all of you, our distinguished guests, and several people who travel from outside uh, Circleville or outside the state as well to come join us. Um, about seven months ago, we announced uh, that we will be uh, investing $220 million in a new plant uh, to build uh, Capton polyamide materials. And uh, it's been a pretty quick seven months in terms of getting us to this point where we could actually have a moment today to mark the occasion of breaking ground. It's not a normal kind of announcement we do on a regular basis. This is something that happens once in many years. And the last one we had here was almost 20 years ago. So it's really exciting time to see the growth that we are bringing uh, to our business and also in Circle Road. Okay, I'll, I'll just continue if that's okay. Um, Capton and Pyrolux are two important materials that our business makes, um, especially these are products that go into all sorts of high technology applications with high performance parameters. And we're excited to see the opportunities that these products bring, especially going into pro products like enabling 5G for smartphones, but also for 
automotive, military, and other industrial applications. And this is a great start for us to look at the advent of 5G and autonomous vehicles that we will be dropping. About the new capability we're building here and here and expanding uh, capacity right here in Circleville. And I'm just really excited that we have a chance to all be here together and celebrate this occasion. So, with that, I just want to say thanks again and uh, invite Steve to take over. Thanks. Okay, well, Avi, thank you for those kind words and, and for your leadership as well in this project. Uh, before I go on and invite the next speaker to the podium, I wanted to take a minute just to acknowledge some of our distinguished guests and organizations that we have here in the audience. I'd like to start by recognizing Senator Bob Peterson, our Pickaway County Commissioners Whipple, Henson, as well as Mr. Keller, who's out there somewhere. Raise your hands, say hi. I'd like to thank the Pickaway County Sheriff Radcliffe for having made the trip. Uh, David Glass from the Lieutenant Governor of Houston's office, and Eric Berklin, President of the Ohio Manufacturers Association. <laughs> Today we also have representatives here from Pickaway Progress Partnership. There goes our sign again. Uh, the Pickaway County Chamber of Commerce, the Ohio Technology Council, the Ohio Department of Transportation, the Ohio Environmental Protection Agency and Jobs Ohio. Again, thank you all. I haven't, I've probably missed a few, so my apologies to anybody I've missed. And again, thank you for all being here with us today. So while we try to stabilize our stage, and we, we may in fact have to make some changes to the props here, I apologize for that. Uh, I would like to introduce, and I'm pleased to introduce the Honorable Larry Alboff. Uh, Honorable Larry Alboff serves as the President of the Ohio Senate uh, for the 133rd General Council. As the presiding officer of the 33-member Senate, he is responsible for leading the Senate's Majority Caucus as it sets the policy agenda for our two-year legislative cycle. And it also is responsible for the formal organization of the Chamber, calling for votes and signing acts. President Ophoff proudly represents the people of the 22nd Senate District, which includes Medina, Ashland, Richland Counties, as well as portions of Holmes County. So we're honored to have President Obhoff here with us today to represent the state of Ohio, and I welcome him to the podium. Well, I want to thank everybody for being here today, and I want to thank DuPont for uh, making this additional investment uh, for what will lead to uh, dozens of new jobs here in the area, uh, and for showing that Ohio is still a state where we make things, uh, where we have an expansion of manufacturing, and not just any manufacturing, but some of the most cutting technology in Ohio. Um, with, with that, uh, my, my president pro tem, Bob Peterson, is here as well. We do have a commendation uh, from the Senate. Bob, if you can come up here, and, and we'd like to present you with that, Steve. Thank you. What I would like to say, rather, is that uh, how much I appreciate DuPont being in this community, as part of this community. I appreciate the, the, the work that they have done and that they continue to grow, even after 60 years, continue to grow here in Pickaway County, in this district. And um, thank you very much for uh, having faith in this community and being such an uh, important part of it. Welcome, and I'm pleased to introduce uh, the Honorable Brian Stewart. Uh, Commissioner Stewart start, first began his term in Pickaway County in January of 2013. He's a lifelong resident of South Ohio, a local attorney, and a combat veteran of the Iraq War. In 2015, Brian was elected by his colleagues to serve as a president of the Board of Commissioners. I'd like to welcome Brian Stewart. Thank you very much for the uh, opportunity to be here today to help celebrate uh, DuPont's expansion in Pickaway County. Uh, again, I'm Brian Stewart, and on behalf of my fellow commissioners, uh, Jay Whipple and Champ Henson, uh, we're very pleased that DuPont has, uh, is making this investment in our community, and the company will continue uh, for many years to come to be one of the county's most notable employers. You know, when folks around the state talk about Pickaway County, uh, it's not very long before you hear the name DuPont. And that's a good reason. Uh, 
because for generations, literally, uh, Pickway County families have been putting food on their own tables, making products that improve the lives of their fellow citizens here at DuPont. You know, throughout the last recession, uh, DuPont stuck by Pickaway County, and Pickaway County stuck by DuPont. And so our Board of Commissioners is very pleased to have played a role uh, in making this latest expansion a reality uh, by approving a property tax abatement that will make the project financially feasible for DuPont. Uh, it will also increase the number of good paying jobs in our community while increasing local funding for our local schools and also providing for the needs of our local taxpayers as well. Uh, today's expansion is another really great example of what uh, the Columbus Dispatch recently referred to as the Pickaway County Comeback. See, in January 2013, when the current Board of Commissioners uh, began working together, we were coming out of the recession, and the unemployment rate in Pickaway County was over 9%. But our county, the cities, villages, townships, Pickaway Progress Partnership, our schools have all worked together uh, every day to help grow our economy. And I think the results speak for themselves. Over 2,700 new jobs have been created in our county in just the last seven years. That formerly 9% unemployment rate has now been reduced to 3%. Uh, new jobs at DuPont help us to create new parks, attract new restaurant and retail opportunities, uh, build a new fairgrounds, and so much more. And to continue this success and build on the commitment that DuPont has made, uh, just today our Board of Commissioners uh, adopted a resolution approving uh, the new, what we're calling the Southern Pickaway County Community and Reinvestment Area. And what this will do, once finalized, uh, it will cover the industrial area that we're talking, we're standing in here today, and it will allow us to stream, streamline the process of helping to create jobs, uh, streamline the process of helping provide additional tools to support both new and existing employers like DuPont in the Circleville area uh, for many years to come, just like we've been able to do over the past decade in the Rickenback area. And so again, on behalf of Board of County Commissioners, uh, congrats to Steve Irwin uh, and the entire team here at DuPont. We're thrilled to have you. Uh, thank you to uh, all of the officials at the state level, local level, township trustees, Ryan Scripper, the TOP3, and to so many others to help make this a reality. Uh, I think this shows that small communities uh, can still do very big things when we work together. So thank you very much. Next, I'm pleased to introduce the Honorable Mayor Donald McElroy. Uh, I'd like to give a little bit of background on, on the mayor. Uh, since taking office as Circle's mayor in January of 2012, Mayor McElroy has worked diligently for economic development in the Circleville and Pickaway counties. He's an advocate for Pickaway County and has been a key pillar of support in for the continued growth and development of the DuPont site. A true friend of DuPont's, so I'm pleased to introduce Mayor McElroy. Thanks, Dave. When Steve called and asked me to speak, I, I put a, a speech together. Uh, I think I'm going to condense it. <laughs> uh, thank you. Thank you for, uh, for inviting me. Uh, Pickaway County and Circleville really understand the importance of business retention and expansion and is geared towards keeping and developing new highway wage jobs in our county. Both Pickaway County and the city of Circleville work closely with Pickaway Progress Parkway P3, partners, I'm sorry, P3, One Columbus and Jobs Ohio to ensure that a comprehensive community marketing strategy exists to ensure retention and expansion. The DuPont company opened here in Circleville in 1953, and when I talk to old employees, they constantly talk about the development, the community development, housing development that they created. They still call it DuPont City here in the city of Circleville, believe it or not. Now let's fast forward to 2019 and the announcement that DuPont will invest over 200 million dollars in our community and to this existing plant and the creation of 46 new jobs to a 
company that's already one of the largest investors that we have in Pickaway County, so we really thank you for that. This investment represents the strength of DuPont and the great working relationship the company has in Ohio and our community. Pickaway County and the city of Circleville thank DuPont and their employees for producing products that are literally changing the world. And we are pleased to welcome this new investment. Thank you. Thank you, DuPont. Okay, and last but certainly not least, I'm pleased to introduce and welcome to the podium the president of DuPont's electronics and imaging business, Mr. John Kev. Uh, a little background, John joined DuPont in 2005 and has served as president of DuPont Electronics and Communications from 2015 to 2017 uh, when he was named the head of our strategy for specialty products division of DuPont Dow. So fast forward to today, John is now our president of the newly launched electronics and imaging business. Please welcome John Kev. Thank you. It's a pleasure for me to be here today and a special appreciation to all of our distinguished guests. Uh, thank you for your kind words and the shared excitement that we all have for what we are trying to create here with the expansion of this facility uh, and the construction and investment here at the site and in the community. Uh, we're excited that you all could join us to the broader crowd to celebrate this milestone achievement. Uh, and we look forward to continued success as we partner together going forward. As Avi mentioned, we are here, you know, we make two world-class products in this facility, uh, CAPTA and polyimide polyam materials films and Pyrolux laminates. And these materials are used to go into next generation devices that enable a lot of the electronic functionality that each of us use every single day. Not to mention the exciting emerging opportunities in 5G and autonomous driving and artificial intelligence and all of those other science fiction ideas that are rapidly becoming a part of our everyday life. And it's the materials made from this facility that make all of that possible. And those materials are made by the exceptional employees and dedicated efforts of those who show up each and every day to make this facility successful. So a shout out and my sincere gratitude to each of the employees uh, and their exceptional focus on quality products and customer service that make our business success a reality. Our customers constantly expect us to make materials that are better, faster, smaller, and usually cheaper. But this team has constantly demonstrated the ability to rise to the occasion to deliver against those lofty expectations each and every day. So today we celebrate the next step in what has been a long legacy of tradition here at the Circleville site in a successful partnership with our customers, with our employees, and with the community in the expansion and all that that makes possible in the future. So with that, I'd like to invite my fellow guests to join me over here, and, and we'll move to an exciting, groundbreaking celebration. Thank you.